Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is walking in destiny and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Judges chapter 11 and verse 29. At that time, the spirit of the Lord came upon Jephthah and he went throughout the land of Gilead and Manasseh, including Mizpah in Gilead. And from there, he led an army against the Ammonites. I remember we did a series once on service and our major thesis was that we are to serve God with what he orders from us and not whatever we like. In our scripture today, we see Jephthah, whose time had now come to step into the declaration God had made concerning him earlier. The Bible says the spirit of God came upon him and he gathered men and led an army that of course defeated the Ammonites. God will only invest his spirit on the errands he has created for you and created you for. This is the reason why a lot of people struggle in the things they do. God is obligated to give grace and an anointing for the work he has called you to do. If you break out of training and decide, for instance, that you are now qualified to be a global pastor or a speaker or anything at all really, As long as you did not do it on God's timetable, he isn't obligated to see you through it. Our scripture says, at that time, the spirit of the Lord came upon Jephthah. There was a set time, a time when heaven had signaled that the training he had received for the next assignments was completed. Think about it in the physical. Can you step out of medical school in your third year and decide that you are now a qualified medical doctor? It will be a disaster waiting to happen if you do so. Same with things of the spirit. You emerge only after you have been trained. And if you break out of the training school too early, which many people have done, you will be a disaster waiting to happen because you will be ill-equipped to handle things that will come your way. When you step out of the land of top, you are not guaranteed a trouble-free experience, but you are guaranteed the backing of the one who sent you. My mother in the Lord has a beautiful Yoruba name she calls God. I won't bother to say it in Yoruba, but the name means the God who sends and backs up the one he has sent. God will invest his spirit. God will invest his grace. God will invest his power upon the one who he has trained and who he has sent. It is because of this that you don't just see someone doing something and go and copy it. You have no idea what kind of training the person went through to be doing what they are doing. So stay in your own lane. Stay in your own land of tub and become who God has called you to be. When you emerge, you will be trained, equipped, full of grace and anointed with God's spirit. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Please give us the grace to stay and to be trained with joy, with discipline, with love and with grace. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.